Hi guys, welcome back and welcome to Budget Beauty Month. So I did mention on a few different videos, platforms, wherever, um, that the entire of September is going to be budget focused. So budget beauty focused here on my channel. And when I asked for requests or what products specifically people wanted to see, foundations and base products were really high up there. So the whole first week is going to be dedicated. There's going to be more videos than normal and uh, it's going to be dedicated to foundations and base products. Today, we're gonna to be talking about the Collection Lasting Perfection Weightless Foundation. This is supposed to have 16 hour wear time, so we'll see. Um, the color that I've got is Cool Ivory. It's too cool for me right now. It's too pale for me right now. It may work for me later on when I've kind of lost a little bit of my summer color. But for now, um, to you know, ignore that. For now, I'm not gonna be going anywhere today. I'm kind of popping out to collect my daughter because she's at a sleepover. But other than that, no big deal, um, so I don't really mind. I'm not going to be wearing a tremendous amount more makeup. So I'm going to apply one half with my damp Real Techniques sponge. You see, it really is not my colour for right now. I have tried this um, foundation before. I didn't immediately get along with it. I found that, um, well, you know, I'm trying to reserve judgment, but I found that it didn't blend as nicely as I would want it to. But that's partly why I want to apply it in these two different ways, because... Everything's got its optimum way of being applied and see how it lasts over the course of the day. It is already at a disadvantage because um, it's not the right colour for me. So anything where it, with another foundation, um, it might kind of hide the fact that it's not blending super well or that the coverage is a little bit patchy um, if your foundation is matching really, really well to your skin tone. But because this one isn't, it is going to obviously um, exaggerate anything that's not perfect. But you know, like I say, we'll we'll build that into the opinion. The coverage is pretty good, better than I thought it was going to be, because this one is the uh, weightless foundation, whereas there is another Lasting Perfection original, and I kind of felt like this would be um, just kind of a lighter all-round product. It doesn't feel, it does feel weightless, it doesn't feel like a lot on my skin, but it gave more coverage than I expected. I do have a, a quite a decent amount of redness today, and like I say, it's not a great colour match for me anyway. Um, however, I do want to mention that it's a little bit dry around my nose where I do have a little bit of dryness. It's kind of settling the tiniest amount into my pores, um, but we'll see how it does with the brush. Okay, this is not blending nicely with this brush at all. It's really kind of gathering in certain areas. Um, I feel like I look like the Joker right now. The more I try to work it in, I feel like I'm just like wearing it away. Like if I really try to bop it in certain areas where it's um, really settled. I, I think that rather than blending further, it's just kind of leaving me with a foundationless section of skin. I'm just going to try and blend it out a little bit with my fingers. Hilariously, I always, always used to apply foundation with my fingers. And then when I used to do these kinds of videos, people would be up in arms. It was like around the time that brushes became very, very, um, not popular, but like trendy to have lots of makeup brushes on YouTube. And um, people would say like, what's the point? You're just wiping it around your face or there's no coverage. I do think giving, uh, applying something with your fingertips does give you a lighter coverage to begin with. Um, but they thought it was unhygienic. There was a whole thing. I just kind of got out of the habit because I was, frankly, um, bored with being told I was doing everything wrong. But I do find that there are a lot of foundations still that do apply best with the fingers. If I had a third side of my face, I would be doing that. Um, but I really want to kind of use two different beauty tools to apply each of these foundations. I really, this is not, this is not, just not working. I don't know if you can see this, but it's, the, the thing around here is, what is this? In fact, the first time I used this foundation, I used it with a brush. It wasn't as bad as this, but I didn't feel great about the foundation for this reason. I'm gonna just apply a little bit of concealer. I am gonna use the Beauty Blender um, on both sides here, just to, just in the name of trying to get this to, look something like. I'm putting on the smallest amount of powder, just enough to set, but I really don't want it, whoop! That was more than I expected. Um, I really don't want it to um, kind of mess with. The test. Smallest amount of blush for the same reason, but I do want to see how um, kind of blush and face products sit on top of it. I think that's part of what I'm looking for when I'm um, reviewing a foundation, mascara, and this, which I don't even know if you can get this anymore. This is the Sexy Mother Pucker Gloss Stick from Soap and Glory, but I love it. It's just the right amount of everything. Um, oh, if you're not uh, looking to wear like a lot of color, especially at this kind of transitional period of the year. So it doesn't look too bad. I think we've made it work. I am gonna bring you in as close as possible. I'm gonna take some pictures now, and then I'll be back 
um, to see how it wears later. So even on the good side, you can kind of see a little bit of settling, but this is just first applied. And I do find that a lot of these foundations work better for me later on um, when I've had a little bit of oil, you know, gross as that sounds, it's true. But this side, I just don't think there's a lot of saving this side. It really, it just didn't um, blend well at all. And this is given that I've kind of gone over it with a beauty blender afterwards. When I did the concealer, I kind of just tried to blend some things, but it's just not working. This is definitely the the optimum side. Um, but we shall see. It's been about seven hours, and there were times today where I saw myself in the mirror, and I thought, this is not as bad as my first impressions. Like, it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be very dry and cakey. Um, and so I kind of imagined when I sat down now that I was going to feel very differently, but really inspecting it, it's not good. So I used to measure foundations on um, how much oil control they had. I'm not so bothered about that now. Like even this amount of oil, I'm kind of cool with um, like a little bit of oil around here. This is not that bad. I don't feel like I'm incredibly oily. Maybe more on my forehead than I would like, but I, I can kind of see past that now. As I'm getting a little bit older, I'm okay with a little bit of oily skin. This, however, is a completely different animal. So you can kind of see, I'm trying to, I'm looking in the mirror and I'm looking in the viewfinder at like what you can maybe tell, but like around here, really not great anyway, but the closer you get, it's just settled in a really unattractive way. All this section, obviously all around my pores, and this is the good side. The le <laughs> less good side, the, the worst side is obviously oilier anyway, um, but I feel like it's worn away in an, like worse here than it had even there. Just this more than anything, it's not pretty at all. And then if you look underneath my eyes, it's settled into every single line. This is not something that I am looking for <laughs> from a foundation. I, this is very, very least, I don't want this. Maybe with a great primer, maybe on the right kind of skin. I would love to hear from you if you've tried this and love it because it's, it's as I always say, you need the balance for any kind of review. I, I can only tell you from my personal experience, this was not for me. Um, but it doesn't mean that it's a bad product. It just means that for me, it did not work. If you really like this, please let us know in the comments. No, not at all for me. I've got relatively oily skin. I found that it gathered and collected in all the wrong areas. And I feel like it is relatively dry on first application. So I'm not sure how it would work for very dry skins. Maybe you had combination and it was like drier in the beginning of the day. And then as you produce a little bit of oil, it becomes a little bit nicer. That happens to me all the time. Some foundations don't look great when you first apply them, but they look better like an hour in. And that's fine. I can, I can get on with that. This is not for me. It didn't look great when I first applied it. From a distance, it looked fine. Like from here, maybe it doesn't look so bad. Every time I caught sight of myself, fine. I was thinking quite glowy, haven't got a problem with it, but really, really close inspection and not even that close. Like if you were talking to someone, they would be able to see all of this. If you like budget beauty reviews, stay tuned because there's gonna be one every single day for five days from me. And as I said at the beginning, there's gonna be an entire month of budget beauty here on my channel. So if you enjoy that kind of thing, don't forget to subscribe. Let me know if there's any other particular products you would like to see from me this month. Um, I'm also talking a lot on Instagram and IGTV about the other stuff that I couldn't fit into videos as we go. Cause some things, especially midway through the month, I won't be able to work them in by the end, but I'll want to include them. So. Follow me everywhere and I will see you guys tomorrow with hopefully a better budget foundation. Every time I'm going out, the same things keep happening.